Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Play Space Mover, also known as OVR Advanced Settings, and also how you can use SoundPad to, um, with that. So, um, I, there, I know there's a lot of people out there who want to learn about this because I was once that person and a few of my friends were once those people. And there's some things that you may p see people do with PlaySpace and you know what PlaySpace is. You might even have it, but you just don't know how to do specifically that. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do some of those things. Now, of course, OVR Advanced Settings is just for VR, but SoundPad can be a wide variety. Today, I'm just going to be teaching you with SoundPad how to use it for the VR examples so um you might be wondering what my, this dorm is well i'm creating my dorm into rec royale themed and um obviously as you can tell by the walls it's not completely finished right now but hopefully you guys will be able to see the finishing project because it's gonna turn out very sick so yeah let's just uh get right into the video now, just like the glitch walking tutorial, I'm going to have to go to Steam VR mode so you can see me set up everything so you guys know what to do. So I'm going to switch over right right now. So um, right now, you can see my Steam VR view, which means anything that I see through the VR you see. So if I approach this, you can see that, my barrier. Um, so this will help me show you how to use OVR um, and even SoundPad because I'll be looking at my desktop through the Steam VR um, home menu. So yeah, let's do that. So in order to open up your Steam VR home menu, depending on what you're using, uh, it's just for me, Valve Index, it's the bottom button, which you guys can't see, but once I do this, you'll be able to see. So it's this button right there. And what you'll be able to do with that is open and close the Steam VR menu. Now, um, this tutorial, lots of people ask, is OVR Advanced Settings or just any PlaySpace Mover eligible to be used on Quest or PlayStation VR? depends for quest if you have the quest link um as long as you have steam vr with that and you're hooked up to your pc then yes it will work for quest link but not quest alone and not playstation vr so this only works um if you have steam vr installed and you're playing on steam vr um and for OVR Advanced Settings, it is actually free, so you don't have to worry about costs on that. And SoundPad is also free if you use the demo version, which will allow you, I think, five songs or sounds. Um, but if you want to have as many sounds as you want, uh, it costs five dollars in the Steam shop. So yeah, that's that, and um, let's just actually do it this time. So once I have my menu opened, as you can see, there's recently played games, there's um, my desktops, my menu, now playing, store, etc. What you're going to want to do is you want to click library, and in order to install this, you have to go to Steam. You have to search up OVR advanced settings in the store. And then just click um, get or install, it's one of those. Um, and then you should have it and then install it. And then uh, go back into your VR or just launch it from your desktop. But to launch it in your VR, you wanna go to the home menu, click library, which we are already on. Go over to browse more. And right here, there's a lot more games popped up. So you, uh, you're gonna wanna click install. It might be on recent or install. Or if you have it favorited, then it'll be there too. But um. Once you just find it, it says OVR Advanced Settings, it looks like this. You're going to want to click it, and then click Launch VR Overlay. And then it's going to take not too long to launch, and as you can hear, once you hear that, that's how you know it's launched. And to get to the settings for it, you're going to want to click this right here, it, as you guys may have saw, it popped up. So now I'm going to click that, and I have a whole menu for this. Now, I already have my settings hooked up, so I'm going to kind of guide you on how to do that, because you might not know. But um, let's start with motion, because that's what basically everyone uses. So, space drag is what you use like this. As you can see, I'm dragging myself around, and then reset. I'll show you how to do the reset later. But you have to have these both checked. Um, I don't know if it starts out checked, because see, once I click the buttons, now I can't do anything. If I have right hand, I can move with my right hand, but not with my left. I have them both checked, and yeah. So you're gonna wanna have those both checked. Now, comfort mode, I don't know, yeah, comfort mode is, depending on what you have, is, like, I don't know. I've never used comfort mode before. I don't know. I wouldn't mess with that unless you are someone who doesn't really like to move fast. I mean, 
You see, I can't, you kind of see what it does. It kind of like teleports you there and staggers instead. But I would just do comfort bound. I don't force bound. What is force bounds? Force bounds is where anytime you use it, you can um, see uh, your boundaries. So um, I would keep that off because that would get really annoying. Height toggle. This um, is to toggle your height. So if I click it, it takes me down three. If I click it again, it takes me back three. Now, uh, depending on what you have this. So I would keep this off. And my suggestion is to put this to three because that's going to help us in the future when we are doing other things. So right now, just click that and set it to three. So for example, let's say, I don't know, it wasn't on. Or just do that. Just type three and then click done. And then it'll automatically do that. Um, now let me tell you how to do the bindings for the space drag. In order to do the bindings, if you're already in motion settings, you're going to go back and then click bindings. Now it's going to take you to this, um, depending on what controllers you're using. So this is all up to you. This is your preference. Um, for me, my space drag, I use the trackpad because in Rec Room, there's nothing that you really use for the trackpad. So I like to use that. And what you do is you find tra trackpad. It'll probably, there probably won't be anything here. So just an example, it'll be empty. I'm going to click the add button. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is click button. And then whether you click it or touch it, or you could double click it, long click it, hold it, whatever. I just click single and then I do left hand space drag and then click the check mark. And then that should work now, now that you, as long as you hold it, but obviously clicking it once isn't gonna do anything. I clicked it. So do single and then you'll be able to hold it and then take you wherever you want. Um, same goes for the right controller. This is all the controllers for the right side and the left side. So same goes for the right side. Just do the same thing there. I think single and click are pretty much the same thing. So whatever you do for that. Um, so yeah, that is how you do the space drag. Now I'm going to teach you how to reset your position because if you're in a room where you don't have co-owner and you go too far out of your boundary, it'll send you back to your dorm and you don't want that happening. Right now I'm in my dorm room. I'm co-owner of this room, owner, so I can go wherever I want. I can go all the way over here if I wanted to, but you can't do that in rooms that you're not co-owner. So let's say you're in the rec center and you go too far out of your boundaries and you get sent back to your dorm that's frustrating so try your best not to go out of your boundary and if you don't want to risk the chance of like trying to reset yourself because you don't know if it's accurate then this is how you do the bindings for the reset button again you're going to want to go to your bindings you're going to want to find which one you want to do so for me i use the right um side and i use the b button as you can see the b button right there so what i do instead of single clicking it because that's how i point i don't want any time i point to reset myself I double click it so if I go to the edit or if I delete it just to give you guys an idea I click the add button I do button um, more options double click I want to double click it it's gonna be reset offsets scroll down until you find reset offsets that is gonna reset your position so over here double click now you guys can set this for whatever binding you want it's totally your preference but that is how you reset now let's get into how to go down or maybe even up so if we go back to the main area and in order to do that once you click bindings it actually um it doesn't uh if you click back it doesn't take you there you're gonna have to click this button again and i'll take you back we're gonna go to motion now this is what i meant by the three so three that um it tells you how far you go down three is the best one you want to use to go down or up i'm pretty sure negative three means you go the opposite way so you go up i don't know let me test yep i was right so as you guys also know i have that sound set up but um i'll tell you how to do that later but just like i said set it to three so you go down um and then in order to set a binding for that you just go back to bindings you find what you want to use now for my going down i use the same button i do to reset except on the left controller you just get whatever binding you want add i do button more options do whatever you want obviously mine is double and then what you're going to want to do is gravity to or sorry no apologies height toggle height toggle is the one you use to for that and in order for the height toggle to work you need to go to 
motion again. And you want to make sure that this is just any number. But obviously, keep it three. So now that I have that set up, double click it and I go down. And as you can hear that sound, that is my sound that I set up. And now I'll teach you how to do that with sound pad. What you're going to want to do first is go to your bindings menu. And as you can see, this is where we were, motion. There's four different areas motion music miscellaneous and system what people think is music but soundpad isn't like hooked up with ovr advanced settings so what you're going to want to do is go to miscellaneous now you're going to do whatever button you want to do um for your sound and this could mean whatever this could you could do it as your reset so you could do like a like a reverse like kind of like a you know the reverse sound and then you could do it there so like it kind of like you're reversing but for me i want to have the sound when i go down so it's like i'm teleporting so you're going to want to have the same key bind as the one you use to go down and i'm just going to delete this just to show you reference all right so then you're going to do that i'm going to add it everything is a button more options of course i have double as the other one now key press mic you're going to want to have that set now this doesn't just do it automatically. Now what you have to do is open SoundPad and set your sound keybind to function 9. So this is how you do that. You open SoundPad, and then once you do that, you're going to find the sound that you want to use to do that. You right click it, you click set keybind. And then what you do is you do function nine. It has to be function nine or it won't work. Then after that, you click okay. And then it's set. You don't have to worry about anything else with sound pad unless you physically want to play a sound that doesn't involve OVR, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. So now that you're back in rec room, you have OVR advanced settings open and sound pad. Now when you do this, it makes a noise. So that's how you do that, and it has to be function nine. So now I'm gonna teach you how to do something that you might see lots of people do. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go back to motion, and you are gonna want to find a button that you want to do this. So you're gonna go to motion settings, and then you're gonna turn gravity settings on. Now, what this does is lets you be able to like fling yourself instead of just staying in one place once you do that. So I just do that and I just go back down. Now these gravity settings right here, moon, Mars, Earth, Jupiter, you can even set your own custom ones. If you click Mars, it does it what it would be like on Mars. If you do moon, it flings you as if you were on the moon, etc. for Earth and Jupiter as well. Jupiter is more just straight down. So now what I'm talking about for this is doing this. That's right, you literally just, you just go up, and moon is a better example, because you go a little slower, and you can stop, and then click it again, and then go up, and then reset if you want. So, in order for this to work, you obviously have to have gravity settings on, or else it doesn't work, and then you're going to want to go to back, and bindings again. So, once you're in the binding settings, you're going to want to go to the motion, and then you're gonna choose what you want. So for me, I use the right side and I use the s thumbstick. So I'm gonna delete this just to show you what to do. You click add to what you want. You do, whoa, you do um button. And then I want to, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's hold. It might be single, I'm gonna try single. And then it is called gravity reverse. So now um, I click the check button. I go back to motion and I turn gravity settings on and then I can do this depending on which one I have so yeah we go back to bindings and then as you can see gravity reverse set to the thumbstick so once I hover over this it actually shows what the thumbstick is so just do it click even though you actually do hold it in order for it to work it just works when you set it to click so just set it to click just hold it and you can go up now I'm gonna show you how to use SoundPad other than just OVR advanced settings, but you're also using OVR advanced settings to make it look better. That is all for the OVR advanced settings part, except that you need to know. So now you know how to do this. If we turn gravity settings 
back off. You can do this. You can reset. You can go down. I even taught you how to go up. Just do a negative three instead of a positive three. Um, you know how to do this. And that's pretty much the basics of OVR advanced settings. Now, I'm going to show you something that you can do. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull up the Steam Home menu. And then you're going to want to go to Desktops, because right now we're on OVR Advanced Settings. So you click Desktops. Right now I have it set to my second monitor. And right here we have um, my two sounds. I have the Poof Naruto sound, which as you can see it is set to the hotkey F9. But this one, this is how we can have fun. So first I want to make sure my gravity settings are on. And then I'm going to double click this to play it. So, you know, you can go around in the rec centers messing with people, you know. Of course, if you go too high, you'll probably get sent to your dorm, but this is really fun. Coochie man. As you see, I went really high, and, that, and I didn't get sent to my dorm, because... I'm in my dorm, and I'm also co-owner. So if you're co-owner of a room and you go all the way high, it'll work. You won't get sent to your dorm. So yeah, that is the basics of OVR advanced settings and how to use SoundPad with OVR advanced settings. Of course, another thing this is useful for is if we turn gravity settings off and we sit down, obviously we look like we're really short or obviously we're sitting down. We don't want to look like that. We want to look like we're standing up. So. We can just lift ourselves a little tall, and now you look like you're standing up, and you can just, you know, do whatever. But, um, yeah, we, uh, we are currently working on my dorm. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me if this helped you out. If this didn't help you out and you are confused with something, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will try my best to help you with that. Please like the video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.